finished 75 hard in November and went from looking like this to looking like this at the end of it. And now we are in February. And now I'm looking like this, which is still fine. My diet's been okay, but I've just been drinking more, smoking more. And then at the end of 75 hard, I got like tendonitis in my thigh. So I haven't run since November. So today, first day back and I'm scared. Yeah, literally 20 minutes and I'm sweating like a pig. Towards the end of Seven Prime Hard, I basically got like tendonitis in my thigh. I had to get acupuncture and like physiotherapy and everything. Since then, I haven't really been out running or doing much cardio, but honestly, I was dreading it a lot more going on the run. I think when you haven't been out doing exercise, that first like day, the first initiative of just getting out is always the hardest. Now after the run, I feel great. I enjoyed what was out there. So it's just coming over that first hurdle, prove to yourself that you can go and go for a run do some exercise but it is hard to get back into it after not doing it for a while real influencer day content creator day today i'm on my way to meet someone who is like a social media content creator manager so i'm gonna meet this lady see what she says and then kind of give my feedback to you guys after so one our one meeting later, still alive. The idea of social media representation for me is a 50-50. I haven't really done a brand deal in, I think maybe three months that was paid. I did some with Bentley, which was basically like a free day to go and drive in cars. Feel in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and that was amazing. But I haven't done like a paid brand deal in quite a while. My main focus was, my main focus is, my main focus is obviously on building my personal brand and then building running. Those are my two main focuses. And then we do brand deals. You kind of sell your personal brand for monetary gain. So you kind of build up your brand equity and then you do a brand deal and then you build it up again. That's what it feels like at least. So obviously you can do it for a quick check, but it leaves like a, a weird taste in your mouth after doing it and definitely sort of reduces my love for social media. Am I gonna post content I don't love, but they love, etc. These days I have thinking more about views and likes and whatnot though, which is a bit sad. I mean, I grew up on Instagram and YouTube. I started Instagram when I was 16, YouTube at 18. I'm now 26, so I'm an old head. And my glory days are long gone. My glory days back in 2020 with more likes, more views, more life. Joke aside, that's not how I feel about it fully, but there's definitely some kind of existential dread. And I think social media is one hell of a drug. And it's very, very easy to get loads of self-doubt, feel like your last year's thing, whatever. And I think everyone who works in this space will eventually go through that kind of existential dread. Oh, shut the fuck up. Will eventually go through that existential dread of not knowing what they're gonna do in the future in their life right now and whatnot. Massive first world problem. To no surprise, I'm still at the office. I've basically been at the office all week. I went to LA a couple weeks ago to shoot all the new content for a rolling drop coming up. So this has basically been a week of just editing all the photos, getting the whole rollout ready and sort of planning the next drop, plan the website, etc. So we also reshot the whole website last week. So new econ pictures for all the trousers and hoodies, some jackets, and basically the core collection. But basically we want to go into 2024 with a brand new econ set of imagery. But yeah, we've got a drop tonight. It is the first drop of the year. So it kind of sets the precedent for 2024 in a way. Following on from the clip, just before this clip, now gone live on the early access for the drop. So I'll show you guys what it looks like on the back end. There's currently 200 people who are live on the website. And then we can see total sales, where people are browsing from. So London, LA, Sydney, first time main sellers. And then this is just the overall map of where people are visiting from. 
And then at the bottom, we can see there are 16 act active cards, 16 are checking out, and two have purchased so far. Tomorrow, I'm going to tell you guys sort of all the numbers, how much we made, how much we sold, etc., etc. But I'm going to keep cracking on work here. And then tonight, I'm going to go see 1975. A little bit more of this, and then a little bit of this. One 1975 concert and one drop later. It is about 12, 16 hours after the drop last night. So I want to talk to you guys about what we dropped and the sell-through rate of the items. Now, sell-through rate is basically the amount or the percentage of stock you sold compared to the total stock. If you had 100 hoodies and you sold 50, then your sell-through rate would be 50%. So let's get into it. So the best performer of the drop was the Walnut Fisherman. Now this is basically the same fit and style as our black and green ones that dropped last year. So walnut, beautiful fisherman rib. This one is honestly banging. I love it. I wear it most days and I think it's such a nice winter, autumnal, spring color. So this one we had 225 in stock and we sold 68, which means that our sell rate was around 30%. Now that was our best seller of the drop, but moving on. We've got our stone version of the same Fishman knit. This one for me is probably not one I'm wearing too much in the winter or like when it's cold and raining. However, when we get to the summer and the spring, it's gonna be beautiful. Nice tan, good color, just great, great knit. In terms of sell through readiness, we had 199 in stock and we sold 26. So we've got a sell through rate of 13% on this one. Now we also sold some green and black ones, but they weren't written at drop, so I'm not really including it to the same extent. But moving on to our sage green arnit. We did arnits in black and ivory in the past, and this time we did it, first of all, in this sage green color. These are made from 50% merino and 50% acrylic. So we have 151 in stock and we sold 26, which means our sales rate on this one was 17.22 percent next for the arnits we've got this mocha like a deep mocha brown arnit a lot more autumnal i'd say um but this one we had a hundred of and we sold 13 so a sell through rate of 13 percent and then last coming in with the black one which is basically a restock which we did back in november for the first time so black one with the big white R on the back. Now this one sold very well last time when it first dropped. So when it first dropped, I think we had a sell through rate of 91%, I believe, or like 85%. This time around we had 160 in stock and we sold 10. So a sell through rate of 6.25%. Looking at the back end, 6,000 store sessions, 27K in sales, 146 orders. Here is the sort of pre-sale and then the sale and then the tail sort of coming off here. Overall, I'm super happy with how the drop went. I think the products are banging. Obviously looking at the sell through rate, you can say, uh, well, the drop didn't go that well. However, the way I see it is Ronning is not really a drop brand anymore. So I don't really stress too much about sell through on each day or like each drop basically. The way I see it is more a way for us to sort of broaden our range of core products and promote people to sort of buy slow rather than having to like rush to buy something. I never really look at the drop date information and base my opinion of the drop on that first day or second day, because we often see that people take a little bit more time to sort of shop around and look at different options. Just thinking more about the products before buying them, which I prefer. It means less returns, happier customers, and not having like a frustration or a rush on a drop day. A lot of these products are probably more transitional pieces in the sense that obviously you can layer them. But for me personally, knits are perfect from like March onwards where you don't really have to wear a jacket, but you can just wear a knit and it's like the perfect transition piece going from spring into summer. So because these items are going to be part of our core collection and will be in stock all year round, I don't really stress too much about how a drop goes as long as we build that collection a bit more and keep making different and cool stuff. So that is basically the drop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.